Yeah, dafür lieben wir den Teddy. Well, we love Teddy for that, for the very touching moment as well. And you all know that the Teddy Award is a political prize, which makes a major contribution for more tolerance, acceptance, solidarity, and equal rights in society. And this is why we uh, need to talk about a very topical issue, the refugee crisis. Mr. Muller mentioned it just briefly, and I would like to talk about it as well, together with the General Secretary of Amnesty International Germany, a very warm welcome to Selmin Shalishkan. Hello. Hello. We're going to speak in English, though. Yes, yes, I think we have to. Yes, we have to. All right, let's come into the light a little bit. So, of course, the, the refugee have been a topic in Germany and in Europe uh, altogether, but we mostly talk about refugees that come to our country or to the other countries because of war reasons. Yet there is many people that come because of their sexual um, identification, uh, identity, sorry. Um, so maybe you can tell us a little bit about that. I mean, there's still 75 countries in the world where um, you're not allowed to be homosexual. And in, I think, let's see, eight of those, um, you still have to fear death penalty. Yeah. So how is it for the refugees when they come here? How are they greeted? What are their problems? And, and what do we have to imagine their lives to be like once they're out of their country? Okay, that's very fast now. Yeah. Uh, we, we don't, we'll start from the beginning. We start from the beginning. We don't have um, amnesty research on what the situation is in Germany. Mm -hmm. But um, I know from my uh, lobby talks uh, at Brussels and also on Malta with the Euro European Asylum Support Office, uh, where ILGA, Amnesty and the uh, European Women's Lobby met asylum offices to ask about gender criteria when they are doing their asylum interviews. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, this is a very important point uh, when it comes to the asylum procedure that the man or the woman which is sitting um, in opposite of you knows exactly what it means to be gay or lesbian or transsexual uh, when you are coming from Cameroon or from Turkey or from Argentina or from South Africa. Mm -hmm. And often this sensi sensitization and the knowledge about gay and lesbian and trans life is completely missing and uh, people sometimes have to undergo very intimate and also very discriminating questions within the asylum interview. And I think this is the focal point. Uh, you ha one have to have more training for asylum officers so that they put forward the right questions so that the people also know what is relevant that their asylum claim is getting a positive end. Mm -hmm. I mean, we also read about inhumane procedures on how to test whether the refugee is uh, homosexual or not. I mean, it's forbidden by the European Court of Justice, yet it still happens. Maybe we can uh, elaborate on that a little bit. It still happens uh, because it's um, the political will which is missing to really improve that. Um, but after the court ruling of the European Court of Justice, um, people are not... Um, the asylum officer sitting at the table is not able to ask you anymore if you can't just stay in the closet in order not to be persecuted in your country. Mm -hmm. That was the situation before, but yeah. now it has changed after this court ruling, which is really a positive signal. Mm -hmm. And uh, so how, but how are um, homosexual um, or lesbian, uh, tra transgender uh, people greeted here, or if you say you can't elaborate in, in, on German conditions in Europe, I mean, are they safe in refugee camps or are they not safe? Um, I think they are safe when they don't disclose that they are homosexual, uh, because the conditions of discriminations which are already in the country of origin it's also part of the community which is uh, fleeing to Europe. So they are surrounded also by discriminative approaches, by sexual harassment, uh, by verbal attacks. So people, um, gay and lesbian people, transsexuals, I think they need really a room for themselves and they need more protection than others. Mm -hmm. They need um, another kind of legal um, counseling 
uh, which uh, talks about what would be relevant for your asylum interview and not, and also in terms of security. Yeah. And um, I would like to say something about the safe country. Yes. Ah, okay, you want to ask that? No, but yeah. Uh, you yeah, can keep because going. Uh, we have we have in uh, Germany a, a broad discussion, uh, which is um, a discussion discussion about the so-called safe countries, and uh, the countries on the table are Algeria, Tunisia, and Morocco, and the safe country concept is just a political concept. It is not based on a proper human rights assessment in these countries. So uh, Amnesty is uh, generally against this because um, it denies also people the individual asylum procedure. Everybody who, who seeks for asylum has the right to get a fair asylum procedure. Mm -hmm. But if somebody is coming from Tunisia or Morocco or Cameroon, Mr. Wolverite, as you know, Alice and Com, um, then it is possible that the asylum officer says, no, I'm not believing you because you're coming from a safe country. And on top, what is happening in Germany now is that all these people are put into a fast track asylum procedure. That means three weeks three weeks to put forward your asylum claim. In the second week, you can do something against it to go for appeal. And the third week, uh, there is the decision. Mm -hmm. And if you think about um, gays, lesbians, transsexual people from really um, difficult countries, some of them are traumatized and they have this very fast thing uh, in the asylum procedure, meaning uh, if you are traumatized, you need stability, you need time, uh, you have to talk about issues and topics which are a big taboo in your country and also in your community and also uh, towards the asylum officer. Mm. So you need time and our, what we want from Amnesty is that to put all, everybody out of this fast track procedure who is traumatized or who has a special needs. And um, I mean, you already mentioned that uh, the refugees th that come here because of their sexual orientation, they can't feel safe here. So because of the way they're put in camps here. So what needs to change and what political actions need to be taken in order to change what's happening right now? Uh, especially for this kind of people, gay, lesbians and transsexual, they need safe housing. Um, I can understand uh, that it is very difficult to manage now and, it, and we all need time and patience. Everybody is doing something to improve the situation. But uh, really in order to have, a, to have protection, uh, we need uh, people with special needs of protection that the authorities in Germany have really a keen eye on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, thank you very much for your insight. I hope you. that the situation changes. Thank you very much, uh, Celine Chaliskan. Thank you. Thank you, Celine.